Now many of us work in office based jobs on the road in caravans or in RVs and for that you're going to need a laptop plus a bunch of other electronic gear. USB-C can make your life a lot easier. Now USB has been around for over 20 years and it's been the standard for connecting electronic devices to other electronic devices and also charging them. But there's been many different types, there's been mini USB, micro USB, other types, but finally we're starting to converge now on USB-C. Now with the standardization on USB-C that means you, you can carry fewer charges. So with USB-C you can do this external Bluetooth speaker, you can do my GoPros, also the external Wi-Fi hotspot, my phone, this Samsung tablet and even this Macintosh notebook. So just one charger to rule them all and what's really good as of late we've now got USB-C powered laptops. So for example my laptop here can be powered by USB-C if you've got um, a power supply for it and also that means that this 12 volt adapter I've got here also USB-C I can just buy that as a generic 12 volt adapter plug it in and that powers the powers the laptop I don't need to worry about those very specific ends um, which only work on certain types of laptop and this laptop power adapter will also power this laptop even though it's an Apple my phone all of those other USB things so already USB-C allows us to cut down on the amount of cables and different types of cables that you've got but there's more to it than that because this plugs directly into 12 volt it means that I don't need to take a 240 volt adapter from the laptop and plug it into an inverter now that means I don't need to run the inverter which is one less thing to switch on and off but it also means that I'm saving power because the inverter saps power so it's more efficient just to use the 12 volt adapter directly than to run the laptop through the 240 volt. Now if you are working on a laptop like this chances are you're going to want an extra screen and here's an easy way to do it. This is a portable extra screen it costs $200 it's from MSI and this is how it works so I pull it out like so um, put the stand at the back that goes there and then guess what we have a USB-C cable but this is a USB-C display port cable because this supports display port so I just plug it in like there and like so and that comes to life and then you will see my second screen so that's just one cable to provide power to the second screen as well as the video signal and that's great because that means that there's just not something extra to plug in and it's just one cable to focus on. Now this is not a touch screen, this, this one is a touch screen but it's really good, it's a full HD screen there as well, a very lightweight and you know if I wanted I could turn it um, uh, different ways as well so that's a nice easy option for a second screen. Now my laptop's got two USB-C um, points so I'm using one to power this screen and the other one if I wanted to I could just plug in the power adapter so I've got power to the laptop which then powers that screen. Now USB-C and DisplayPort can be used another way this is a 27 inch monitor as you can see um, and it is connected to my inverter via the standard power cable but there's only one cable coming out from the monitor and that is going into the laptop's USB-C DisplayPort adapter and then that is doing two things. One, it's actually powering the laptop and the second thing is that it's providing the video signal. So again, um, that is just getting rid of another cable. I don't have to have one cable going to power the laptop and one going from the laptop to the monitor. I've just literally just got one USB-C DisplayPort cable connecting the two. Now finally a word on ergonomics. I'm not an ergonomic specialist but I do know that humans are not designed to be typing away on keyboards and using mice all day long. Now the average mouse isn't a great design because it requires your hand to go like that whereas your hand is more naturally turned at about 90 degrees and you can get ergonomic mice like this which give your hand a rest um, from a certain position and move it into a more natural position. The other thing as I've done is um, I'm right-handed so I'm right-hand dominant and naturally I use the mouse in my right hand for 
for most of my life. However, um, when I began to get issues with my right hand, I simply just switched over to using the mouse on my left hand, and now I can use mice in either left or right hand. It only took me a few days to do that, so consider doing that ahead of time before you start getting any repetitive strain injuries. I also find it's pretty handy to have a touch screen laptop, a lot of them are these days but not always and that allows you to move things around and basically do pretty much everything you would with a mouse but on the touch screen and that again that just um, mixes it up so you're not always on the mouse, you're doing something a little bit different with your hands. Now you can also easily turn a TV monitor into a you know, multimedia station, I've just done that with Google Chromecast, that requires power, but um, guess what, I've just reused that cable, so that cable is coming from the power supply USB-C on the monitor back into Google Chromecast powering that, and that's um, to the inverter, then you can just use the remote control and flick through whatever you want, go on to um, YouTube, all the usual stuff that you get with Google Chrome and then you don't need to connect the laptop at all um, which is obviously pretty handy so yeah another way just to utilise your electronics in your caravan. So I hope you found that video useful, if you've got any questions please drop them in the comments and thanks for watching.